This is After Effects, the most high-end video editing software. And this is CapCut, a free mobile video editing app. And today I'm going to find out how they compare by testing five different video effects on each software. Will the professional editor still be better, or will this free app be able to take its place? Let's find out. Alright, so we're going to start this off with some of the more well-known effects, this one being tracking. Now this is where you have some sort of object following another object in a video, and it's an effect that relies a lot on the actual program doing it, so this should be a good first test. I started by filming a video of me walking, and this is actually going to be our footage that we're editing, starting with the professional setup. So this is pretty simple and all I needed to do was place the tracking points and it was able to track it pretty easily in about 10 minutes. Alright, so this is the After Effects tracking. I can't actually see what it looks like as I'm filming this, but I assume it looks good. So I started on the CapCut edit and it took me a while to get my head around it because I've never actually used this software before. But surprisingly the tracking function was actually really similar to the professional software. And this is the CapCut tracking. Again, I, I can't actually see the results, but that's that's what it looks like. Okay, I think the results are pretty similar, but the CapCut one was like five times faster. I think this one has to go to CapCut. This is not looking good for us right now. I'm going to be honest, I had no idea that you could do this with CapCut until yesterday. There's no way that CapCut can actually do this. So masking is revealing an object like this. And we're going to start with the professional editing setup, but before we get into that, let me just explain to you how it works in this software. Now to do masking, you need to use a technique that editors call rotoscoping. And it's basically cutting out a section of a video to reveal another video underneath it. But it takes a long time to do this because you need to do it for every single frame. Let's start. So this is the footage that we're going to be editing. Now starting with After Effects, you need to accurately trace around the object you're masking. And this effect in total took around 30 minutes to do. And this is what we ended up with. Okay, that was mind numbing. Let's move on to CapCut. So CapCut was surprisingly similar to After Effects, except you use a single line instead of tracing around the object, which means it's faster, but the results aren't as accurate. Okay, CapCut was definitely faster, but After Effects was a way better result. So this one is going to After Effects. <laughs> So this is literally the only thing that makes my videos cool, so I'm hoping we have an edge here. Now speed ramping is when footage speeds up to transition between shots, and it's used a lot in like car videos and ads and stuff like that. So we're going to start by filming a few shots of this little statue here, and then we'll start editing them together. Alright, so this is the speed ramp using After Effects. I think it looks pretty good, it's got some smoothness and even a bit of motion blur. But now, let's move on to CapCut. Bro, what? How is this so good and so simple? It literally took me years to learn how to do this on After Effects. Obviously, this one's going to cap cut just for the simplicity of the entire thing. Oh my god. Alright, now I'm sure most of the videographers watching this are questioning their life decisions and their Adobe subscription. But there's hope because we're about to try the OG special effect. Alright, so for this one, we've moved locations. Oh my god. Because we need a green screen. Might need to pin it down. After getting the footage, I edited it on After Effects, and this time all I had to do was drag the effect on the video. Now the cool thing about After Effects is it also has this little button here that gets rid of this like green fringe around the outside. Now I moved on to CapCut, and it had a pretty simple button just like After Effects to do this, but it couldn't remove that green fringe around the outside. So this one is going to After Effects. Alright, so this next effect might look a little familiar to you because it's used a lot all over TikTok and it's the lock-on effect. Now this is the last and final effect that we're attempting today to decide which app is better, the professional editing setup or CapCut. Now with this effect most people do some kind of dancing video, so... 
guess that's what we're doing. Okay, <laughs> we're not actually going to be dancing either way. Instead, what we're going to do is we're going to yo-yo. This will make sense in a second. All right, so we're going to do this instead. And after filming it, I brought it into editing. And with After Effects, you normally put the tracking point on the eye like this, and then the software is going to keep it locked onto that eye. All right, so this is the After Effects face tracking. It, it is, it is cool. I'll give you that, but. It did take 20 minutes to edit it, so let's give it a go on CapCut. And CapCut was insanely simple. You see that button there? Yeah, you just hit that. It takes a few seconds to track it, but then that's it. And this is the CapCut face tracking. 